Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it, we knocked out another case of the brand new 2024 Topps Chrome Update Baseball. Pick your team number three. Whole case right here, six boxes, makes up a whole case. Big thanks to this group here on, why did I write Thursday on here? I'm losing my mind. New releases are on Wednesdays, Wednesday. Big thanks to this group right here. And if you got up three next year, that means you won those teams in that update filler pack. Thanks everybody for getting in. Kevin, you got last spot mojo with the Tigers. And there's everyone else right here. Rex trying to, trying to speak some Shota Imanaga into existence. Uh, it's Thursday for Rex. Yeah, for some of you it is already Thursday. But for Jaspies are here on the West Coast, Hermosa Beach, California. It is still Wednesday. All right, good luck everybody. One auto a box, four cards per pack, 24 packs per box. Thanks once again, everyone, for getting in. We've got a quick uh, two-box break of NT Collegiate coming up after this. Um, we've got another new release today, in Panini Impeccable Baseball. We're halfway through that 10-spot filler. What do you think? Should we, should we add that to the schedule? Let's add that to the schedule. Got it that close. Be a shame to leave that overnight. And I just need five people to get into that Panini Impeccable filler. I mean, if we can get a couple spots going now, a couple spots going in the middle of the break, finish off the spots by the end of the break, after that NT Collegiate, we can dovetail right into that uh, Impeccable baseball. And maybe I was just thinking of my Thursday. My Thursday doesn't happen until tomorrow. So there's the link in the chat. That's gonna link you over to the um, Panini Baseball Impeccable, Panini Impeccable Baseball uh, random number block. Got the sounds of my Lakers in the background. They're up 121, 114, two minutes left against the John Morantless uh, Grizzlies. These games they gotta win facing a lot of teams that are missing their key players. These games, got to win these games. Oof. All right, there's a Wyatt Langford base, Jackson Churio, rookie debut. And I thought the autos were going to pop up here, but here it is. Clayton Beater, 275 out of 499. That's Matt Smith and the Yankees. I kind of wanted to save the autos until a little bit later. Yeah, he was a former Dodger prospect. All right, here's debut Churio, base Langford. We got Ellie De La Cruz, future stars insert. That's for the Reds. Langford goes to David, uh, no, to Mark V and the Rangers, and the Churio goes to Tristan and the Brew Crew. Nice hyper Wyatt Langford for Mark Vila. It's a rookie debut, not his rookie card, but rookie debut, hyper parallel.
There's a Jung Hoo Lee. Base for the Giants. That's for Kevin T. And there's Noel V. Marte. I think these uh, these lava parallels are exclusive to update. That's a two ninety nine for the Reds. E A. An Ellie version of that would be really nice. Jung Hoo Lee, 1989. First case, Jason had a box of two autos. So Rex is reminding us there could be a two auto possibility here. So we got a future stars, Paul Skeens. That's for the Pirates. That's for Mark S. And then we got a rookie debut, base rookie card for Paul Skeens, Pirates for Mark. All right, Wyan Langford, rookie. Jackson Merrill, rookie debut for Tristan and the Padres. And then we got the regular Jackson Merrill rookie card, just base for Tristan and the Padres. Yamamoto for David M. and the Dodgers, rookie debut, and base Jackson Holiday for Joe and the Orioles. Let's see if we can find some parallels of this kid here. All right, box one, done. And we'll do a autograph and sort of key card, key card, uh, key rookie recap at the end. There you go, Austin. Austin Reeves. All right. Once again, you're going to hear me talk about this until the night is out or until it sells or until my voice goes out, one or the other. Five left in the impeccable baseball random number block. Right? We're halfway there. Sells out a full case of impeccable baseball. Brand new release. Let's get it done. There's Jared Jones, green to 99 for uh, Mark S. and the Pirates. Let's see if we can find his teammate. Teammate in that green parallel would be really nice. Jared Jones not too bad himself. Ooh. 
Rookie debut Cheerio for Tristan. And another uh, Wyatt Langford base. All star Shoei Otani. Future stars Junior Caminero for the Rays, David M. There you go. Good job, Lakers. Jackson Holiday base for Joe Hauer and the O's. And the Ellie Dela Cruz All Star card. Nice. EA Reds. And there's the auto, Nick Lofton for the Royals. David Millel with Kansas City. Jung Hoo Lee Hyper for Kevin T and the Giants. I think I was saying in the previous break that I feel like he was kind of hobby hot at the beginning of the season until he did his shoulder. Junior Camarnero, rookie debut. David and the Rays. And Corbin Burns All Star card. All right, another box. You know, and while I'm ripping up those packs, you know what you should be doing? You should be considering a spot in the random number block for Impeccable Baseball. We're halfway there, let's sell it out. Link is in the chat. Rex is asking, hey Joe, if someone wanted to get a spot and say impeccable baseball, could they do that? Yes, they, they could. They could get a random number block spot that'll help fill up Pick Your Team 3. Absolutely. That link is in the chat. Thanks, Rex. That'll sell out the break. We're halfway there. We just need five people, one spot each, and we're done. Let's go, next one. Here's Kyle Harrison. To 125, 125 out of 125. So these lava parallel, all these different colors are exclusive to update from my understanding, I think. Kevin T with that one, I'm pretty sure it is. There's a Shota, there's a Churio, and a Langford. Mark with the Rangers, Tristan with the Brewers, and Rex with the uh, 
rookie debut, Shota Imanaga. The, uh, these are fairly... The Pete Alonzo. James and the Mets. Fairly short print. Jackson Merrill goes to Tristan, the Padres. Paul Skeens for Marquez and the Pirates. And Tristan with the Brewers. Marcus Simeon, another Paul Skeens. This is a rookie debut, Paul Skeens. And we got a home field advantage, Nolan Jones. These are a lot more short printed. I actually did not see one in the last case I did. That's EA and the Rockies. Not bad. Nineteen eighty nine Wyatt Langford. And a orange wave to Don Rafaela. Twenty out of twenty five. Nice rookie auto. He had a solid season last year. It's going to go to Oliver and the Red Sox. Oliver won that spot in the filler. Nobody wanted the Red Sox straight up. The Red Sox have a bit of a young core that's developing nicely. What are you guys doing? The Lakers are falling asleep here. It's Jackson Holiday, base for Joe. There's a rookie debut, Jackson Holiday Refractor. And for Joe Howard. And Colton Kowser, Hyper Parallel. This is a, also a rookie debut card. He is a rookie of the year finalist. All right, halfway through the six box break. Now, while I'm ripping these packs for the uh, for this break right here, maybe click the link in the chat. Go to the website and maybe grab a spot or two in that impeccable baseball filler. We've got time to do that tonight. Five spots left. Someone helped David Mollell out. He bought five spots, so he's halfway in it. He needs some help with the other half. Who's gonna help him out? Link is in the chat. Would love to see that tonight. That's another brand new release, that Panini Impeccable Baseball. Really sharp looking set. Every uh, every box now has an extra pack and we still have the case, the, uh, the, the silver piece, the fine, fine silver. So fine.
Jason Mingus, Future Stars, insert. That's for Matt Smith and the Yankees. Got a Heston Kirkstad rookie. 002 out of 175. That cool looking lava pattern there. That's going to be for Joe Howard and the Orioles. Another one of the many great youngsters on that Orioles team. Rookie debut, Junior Caminero. Refractor going to David Millel and the Rays. And a rookie debut, Shota for Rex and the Cubs. And we got a Spencer Horitz, Blue Ray Wave. Rookie autograph, 43 out of 150 for the Blue Jays. D. Munn. The other DM in this break. The Bluebirds won that team in the filler. Here's a Wyatt Langford rookie debut refractor. It's going to be for Mark V and the Rangers. Paul Skeens, base rookie card for Mark S and the Pirates. Nice night for Dalton Connect. Uh, we got a Jordan Leisure. 53 out of 250 for the White Sox. That's going to be for David M. So we got a lot going on here. We got rookie debut, Ellie Dela Cruz for EA and the Reds. We've got a future stars insert, Jackson Holiday for Joe and the Orioles. We've got Fernando Tatis Jr. for the Padres for Tristan and Tristan. We've got a Jackson Merrill rookie card refractor. Nice. I think that's just a little. Foil on that car. There we go. Oh, I guess it's over there now. And all star game, Jackson Merrill. And a Paul Skeens All-Star card. It's like all the All-Stars. And Yamamoto for David Millel and the Dodgers. He got that, got the Dodgers straight up. The world champs. Nice, nice rookie, solid rookie season for Yamamoto this year. I think he's going to settle into the majors nicely. Really? Did Connect get more minutes than D'Lo? I think, I think privately, 
the Lakers front office, I think they, I think they like D'Angelo Russell as, as a person. He seems like a nice guy, especially after his sort of the early years or showed a little immaturity, but I think he's grown up pretty nicely. He's a family man, he's got kids, and all that sort of stuff. He has a better attitude and stuff like that. He is what he is as an NBA player. I think that the Lakers front office, I think probably secretly would like to would like to see someone take D'Angelo Russell's job, right, and the backup job so they can trade D'Angelo Russell, who's, I think, on an expiring deal. He's on the second of a two-year deal, if I remember correctly. So I think they would like to try to get something back for him. I don't know if they can really get much, but, you know, the Lakers could probably find an expiring deal somewhere else that could help. The Lakers bench, basically. You know, if they, if they could see, you know, some of the younger guards and guys like Connect take the starting job, I think that would, that would be nice. Lakers need bench depth. Really, D'Angelo Russell is the only player sparking the bench right now. Gabe Vincent started off the career or, uh, off the season really quiet. Right. Yeah. Adila, if we could, I mean, I don't know. If we could find a, if the Lakers could find a good three and D guy, I think that would be perfect. And we're not talking. I'm not even talking. I mean, you're not going to get a starter for D'Lo, but like, you know, maybe an older vet player. If they can get, you know, even if they have to move a draft pick for a better 3 and D player, but I don't know who is available off the top of my head, but but yeah, that's that's what the Lakers that's what the Lakers need. Some guy who can can offer more, I mean, even more D than three, to be honest with you, off the bench, you know, for D'Lo. Dominguez rookie debut will go to James in the uh, sorry check that we'll go to Matt and the Yankees. The Cole win will go to Mark V and the Rangers. There's a Yamamoto for David, a Jackson Merrill, Jackson Churio, rookie card. I think that's one of the first I've seen here. Tristan with the Brewers. The other ones were like the rookie debut. Jackson Merrill. Your rook, two rookie of the year finalists. Paul Skeens will probably win it though for the NL. Jackson Holiday and a Stratospheric Stars Jazz Chisholm Yankees edition, 46 out of 99. I think overall, Jazz Chisholm a nice addition to, uh, to the Yankees. Matt Smith and the Yankees. Jackson Holiday, another Jackson Holiday, 1989 design. Wyatt Langford. Rookie debut for Mark. And Parker Meadows. Purple Speckle Autograph, 221 out of 299. Tigers. Uh, that's going to be for Kevin. Last spot mojo. Seventy percent of the time, last spot mojo hits all the time. Kevin Crime. Uh, Kiermeyer doing the Freddy dance here. It's pretty funny. And 
There's a Yamamoto rookie card. Wait, are the other Yamamoto rookie cards? Yeah, they're rookie debut. This is. Oh, maybe they're in landscape mode, so maybe I've been missing them. But all cards ship. But this is his official rookie card right here. All right, sixth and final box. Now I'm still seeing five left. In the impeccable baseball random number block, not a single person has taken a spot during the course of this break, but that's something we could easily add to the schedule and get done tonight. David Mullell picked up the first five spots. Now, I don't need you to buy five spots like David. I appreciate David doing that, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to, you don't have to keep up with the Joneses. Just, you know your budget, just get one spot. You know it's worth it. It's a 12 team random number block, sells out a full case of impeccable baseball. And the 12 teams includes Cincinnati Reds, Ellie Dela Cruz's, includes Pittsburgh, Paul Steens it, so include some really nice teams. Royals, Rangers, Nationals, Brewers, and more. It's worth it. David went above and beyond by getting us halfway there. All I'm asking five people to do is get one spot each. Let's fill it up and let's get it locked in on the schedule. Let's make it happen. Uh, I think he, yeah, I think he has more than a shot. I'm pretty sure he was, he was the odds-on favorite by the end of the season. No, it was Luis Heal, actually, who was the odds-on favorite by the end of the season. Then it was Colton Kowser. But yeah, I mean, he's a finalist, so he definitely has a shot. I think a better shot than the guys in the NHL. I think Paul Skeens is easily going to win that, um, win the NL Rookie of the Year. But yeah, I think Colton, Colton Kowser has a shot. Not sure if Austin Wells has a shot. All right, sixth and final box. Thank you very much, everybody. Let's see what we have here. I think just throughout the game, you know, there were times where he could have gotten frustrated and he didn't and he just stayed the course. And There's another Jung Hoo Lee. The threes, the, the ISO jumper out of, out of our, uh, our, our flow set and then get to the foul line right after that. And, and you know, these are the, the bottom is, it's, it's actually, his last name is actually Lee. The, the who should be. Uh, up over there. Just a hair shy of his season average in minutes, but what kind of stress or trickle down effect does it have? Uh, there's Spencer Aragetti, 005 out of 399. That is for David and the Astros. Here's an Evan Carter. Nice, 200 out of 299. That's a cool looking card for the Rangers, Mark. And Mark S with the uh, Pirates will get this ball schemes. And a future stars, Paul Skeens for Mark. And we have an Ellie Dela Cruz rookie debut for EA. Well, 
Whoa, a plate. Plate auto. Plate auto for the Rangers. Jack Leiter, nice. And those on plate autos look really sharp. That's awesome. Mark V. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo. You have a Tops Chrome Purple Auto of Hoots. Colton Cows. Like as soon as I turn these around, they're gonna go right side up. Future stars Ellie De La Cruz and a Paul Skeens hyper. Nice way to end the break. Future stars Ellie De La Cruz insert for EA and the Reds and the Paul Skeens rookie debut hyper parallel for Mark S. Nice break, gang. Appreciate everybody filling this up. Here is the recap. Nice plate. Nice Skeenses and Yamamoto's. Jackson Merrill rookie refractors. Eston Kirkstad, the lava parallels look really cool. Got the orange wave autograph. Got the home field advantage, Nolan Jones. Don't see a lot of those home field advantages. A lot of Paul schemes here, some Langford, some Clayton. Nice stuff. There you go, gang. 2024 uh, Topps Chrome Update Baseball in the books. That was a six box hobby case. Pick your team three. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.